The history and origins of Double Dragon, the seminal co-op brawler. Among the most iconic beat-em-up arcade games is Double Dragon, released in 1987 by Japanese developer Technos. Double Dragon distinguished itself through its innovative two-player cooperative gameplay, diverse combat moves, and contemporary urban setting. Analyzing the genesis of Double Dragon provides insight in how Technos built upon previous works and tapped into cultural trends to produce a landmark title that defined the brawler genre for decades to come. The roots of Double Dragon trace back to earlier fighting games by Technos that experimented with different gameplay formats. Their 1984 title Karat Champ introduced competitive one-on-one -on -one martial arts combat. However, the limitations of technology made replicating fluid martial arts techniques difficult. Their subsequent title, Neketsukoa Kunio Kun, localized overseas as Renegade, attempted to capture modern street brawling. Released in 1986, it used a side-scrolling beat-em-up perspective with stages based on city environments. Players could use weapons picked up in the environments, like lead pipes, to augment the hero's punches and kicks. Renegade received acclaim overseas for its innovations, though it also faced criticisms for monotonous combat and environments. This feedback drove Technos to rethink how to expand the scope of beat-em-ups beyond Renegade's foundations. Their designers sought to develop a spiritual successor that could dominate the budding genre. This ambition manifested in Double Dragon. The chief innovation that made Double Dragon revolutionary was its introduction of simultaneous two-player cooperative play. Previous beat-em-ups like Kung Fu Master only enabled alternating play between players during sessions. By allowing both Billy and Jimmy Lee to be controlled concurrently, Double Dragon enabled a new level of strategic teamwork. Friends could coordinate their attacks in real time, with one player distracting enemies so the other could strike. They could pass weapons back and forth as needed. One player could even rescue their partner if their health got too low. This co-op dynamic added immensely to the fun and engagement, securing Double Dragon's legacy. Double Dragon also deepened combat through a diverse move list and mechanics. Billy and Jimmy wielded an arsenal of punches, kicks, elbows, headbutts, and throws for tactically dismantling foes. Signature techniques like the Hyper Uppercut and Cyclone Kick required precise timing and input. Grabbed enemies could be kneed or hurled at other thugs. When armed with baseball bats, whips, dynamite, and other weapons, the tactical options expanded even more. Varied enemy archetypes like Nimble Williams and Hulking Abobos ensured players mastered these techniques. The responsive controls enabled satisfying mastery. These layers of depth allowed players to develop skills together across the game's four urban stages. Meticulous combat design ensured Double Dragon never grew stale despite its length. Double Dragon arrived at the perfect time to capitalize on the martial arts craze sweeping Western pop culture in the late 1980s. Movies like The Karat Kid, Bloodsport, and Enter the Dragon made Kung Fu and Karate enormously trendy, especially among teens and young adults of the emerging gamer demographic. By blending these hand-to-hand -hand fighting styles into a contemporary urban setting, Double Dragon created an experience that resonated hugely with audiences. The Lee brothers exuded many of the cool heroic qualities of contemporary martial arts movie stars. Teenagers found their streetwise image fighting against thugs highly appealing. The satisfying combat leveraged martial arts mania into a phenomenon that differentiated Double Dragon from its competitors. Upon its arcade release in 1987, Double Dragon became a massive critical and commercial success. Its addictive two-player gameplay and depth of combat made it a classic, outperforming earlier attempts in the genre. Home console ports became big sellers, further extending its reach. Double Dragon gained notoriety through crossover games like Battletoads and Double Dragon and spin-off titles. As the definitive co-op beat em up, Double Dragon spawned numerous imitators trying to mimic its winning formula. Games like Golden Axe, Final Fight, Streets of Rage, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all followed in the Lee brothers' footsteps. Decades later, the brawler genre still borrows DNA from Techno's pioneering work. For longtime fans, the name Double Dragon remains synonymous with the pinnacle of side-scrolling fisticuffs.